Now we come to our next exciting uh, uh, match, ladies and gentlemen. We introduce first here from Greenwich Village, New York, weighing in at 229 pounds, the Guru. His opponent today here on Big Time Wrestling Fans from Syria, weighing in at 242 pounds, the United States Heavyweight Champion, The Sheik. He's accompanied by his manager, The Weasel. Well, I know that's very frustrating for Bob Finnegan because to get any attention when the Sheik enters the ring is difficult indeed. However, he is there. The Sheik and the belt is being held up by The Weasel in my direction. The, beats, uh, the belt symbolic of United States supremacy in heavyweight wrestling. And so the Sheik, who has the task of subduing the Guru, and it once again, I must stress the fact that it is difficult to get opponents for the Sheik. And uh, we must give full marks to the Guru to accept this challenge on television. Of course, the Weasel, who is attired once again in great splendor, is full of complaints to the official. The sheep prancing around. What? This, I could not. I could not express my inner feelings on this microphone. This man's behavior, his complete disregard for the safety of others in the ring, it leaves one feeling rather disgusting. The Sheik is a champion that we would like to see dethroned. He is a champion I personally want to dethrone. And the chant goes up around the ring, and the Sheik, of course, is drawing the attention of uh, the fans to the Weasel. He is mentioning to the weasel that he wants respect. But to get respect, one must give it. Again, the fans show their com contempt for the sheep. And I think you will agree with me that the fellow's reign must be brought to an end as champion if only to elevate professional wrestling again in the eyes of fans. Just forget it! The weasel just adds to the situation, an ugly situation. Again, we find by the fans as he seeks assistance, of course, for this bout. Well, we'll soon get the bout underway as soon as the weasel folds the garments. He's a little slow in doing this. He claims he exercises the, his prerogative as manager of the sheep. The referee is now becoming impatient. This man has been defending this crown from Boston to Hawaii. And everywhere he goes, the action is the same, the resentment is the same. He has appeared before enormous crowds in Hawaii, San Francisco, Los Angeles, particularly Boston, not to mention the havoc that he creates in Detroit, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Columbus. And what a party would go, go on everywhere when he is dethroned. Our cameramen delight in their, an opportunity to display their talent by photographing this strange, this strange man. And there we see the Sheik being mauled by the Guru, who at this moment is doing all right. 
And perhaps the Guru has the answer to it here, and that is to treat the Sheik the same way that the fans have treated him, and that is with complete disdain. But there, now we find the Sheik getting this fellow set over the bottom rope and going on with that despicable act of biting and clawing and tearing away at the mouth of the opponent. The weasel standing by with a look of delight on his face, a real sadist. The guru is a game one, stays on top of the sheik. But it's not enough. You will note that the sheik has quite a, a repertoire of, of tricks. And this, of course, is a little too much for most of his opponents. Again, we find him drawing the mouth of the Garou and the nostril at the same time. A, a sickening sight. And the weasel distracts the referee. He distracts the referee's attention so that the Sheik can continue with this behavior. He's an animal, and it's the only way to describe him. An animal that must be stopped. And the Guru is a gallant opponent. And there he, he would like very much, as we all would, to go and deliver a good jolt to the head of the weasel. Oh, and the Guru is hurt. He, this boy's hurt. He, out on the outside here, he landed heavy on the concrete, and the Sheik comes out across and hammers away. Take your time now. Go on, get out of the studio. Take your time. Wait till he stands, but we'll take your time. The guru wandering around, uh, but be wise. He's a little dazed by the whole thing as the sheik drags him back in now and gets him set. And the Sheik sitting back against him as the referee calls for the bell. And it is a very welcome bell for the Guru. Get out of the ring. We don't want him in there. Make him break the hole, referee. Break the hole. It's impossible to stand back and watch this go on without interfering. Some things you just can't stand and watch. Get out of here because I'm in no mood for you either. Go on, get out. Get out of here. Go on. You pay for this You stuck your nose in again. You stuck your nose in again. You pay for it. I'll stick it in every time. Now go on, go on. Let's get out. 